Bone picking up his miss. Well, it's a miss, but you got a glimpse of just how fast Jordan Bone is and how he can get to the paint. Bone playing his best basketball of his career by far. This is the reigning SEC Player of the Year, and Grant Williams, Corliss Williamson of Arkansas back in 94-95. and um, Space and three-point shooting. They can space it, but they don't shoot it real well yet, although they are improving. Williams going to work on Obede, draws another foul, and it'll be another trip to the free throw line. Changes the complexion of what Georgia will do to defend Williams, who hits the second free throw deep into the night. Last night, no shoot around this morning, they're ready to go. Schofield, a pull up, too strong. There's Williams knifing in and grabbing a rebound, and another foul. Williams has already drawn three fouls. We have played less than two minutes. And it has paid off in his junior year. Hey, he's on pace to set the all-time school record for assist to turnover ratio. Those are Dane Bradshaw type numbers. He's got a little more foot speed, though. I told him yesterday, look, I'm going to need you to throw the ball in the stands a few times. <laughs> Bone on the wing. Up top to Alexander. Williams on a post, gets it high post. Immediately draws a double, turns and fires, and still banks it home. You can't defend him any better than Georgia just did. This team and with Obede and foul trouble, they're not going to stop going to him. Pound the rock down low. Grant Williams will do the rest. And if you keep him out of the paint, no worries. He's got the mid-range game with the kiss off the glass. 6-0 run for Georgia. Williams. Backing in on Hammonds, finds a cutting Schofield, big to big, the bucket and the foul. Offensive rebound, Alexander. Inside, Alexander, turnaround jumper is good. We talk about the passing ability of Grant Williams. You have to respect his three, and this where he's such a terrific passer. Kyle Alexander can catch it right there, turn around and face up. Tennessee, by the way, heating up offensively and they've assisted on the last eight field goals. That's typical Rick Barnes basketball. That has to be respected as a big man. Gets a shot blocker away from the paint. This Tennessee team is just so solid and consistent. You're not going to knock them off their game. And that's one of the toughest parts for Tom Crean right now. You, how do you stop the bleeding? Because you don't have a go-to guy. As good as Nicholas Claxton is, he's not somebody you just set up in a one-on-one -on -one situation. I like the tide. You know, I, I think the story's there. I mean, they're only 53 and 2 in their last 55 games. That's a terrific point because we asked him about what did he hear about the job, good or bad, at Georgia. And he really turned the entire focus into the league. Whether it's a Rick Barnes, yeah. a Bruce Pearl, a Ben Howland, an Avery Johnson. Well, and they all have different stories, but when you look at that particular list, if a mid-major coach, a young coach in his 30s, takes a team to a Sweet 16 run, he becomes the hot guy to hire at your program. I think you look at that list, and it right. says a lesson. Pons. We didn't see much of Pons in the first half. An outstanding athlete. One of the better ones in the SEC. Williams, jab step, now fires up a three and hits. That's an element to his game that he's improved. Well, Agbede sags off so they can't get the entry pass into college Alexander. 2010 Elite 18 for your former coach, Bruce Pearl. Now, of course, heading the Auburn Tigers. Eight to shoot. But at the same time, their next game is against Vanderbilt. And I'm sure Bryce Drew is saying, these guys are a lot better than what you're seeing against Tennessee. They took Arizona State down to the wire. They were just having one of those nights, and Tennessee is having one of those nights. They can right away replace what Yante Mitten did in his productivity. Yeah, he could stretch the floor. And... On the breakaway. Which can beat you in so many different ways. Tennessee right now boasting the top two scores in the SEC. Nice move there by Jordan Bowden. That you wear. Uh -huh. And he says, our fundamentals aren't good enough. We're going to work on dribbling all game. Oh, goodness. I go, we just had 130 points hung on us. <laughs> Rick Barnes says, don't you dare shoot it. We're done. So is this game. Tennessee now 12-1 overall, 1-0 in the SEC.